Hi, okay, so I just realised, uh, excuse me, at a very late stage of the game, just before he shouted rolling, um, that I don't have the persecution information at my fingertips as usual, um, as I usually do, because it's on my phone and there are some lovely people on my phone at the moment. So what I will say, God bless him, what I will say is this, Yes, there is some very interesting footage now on my channel, which is K Soko Films, showing um, staged calamities for the Palestinian movement and cause for the like sympathy industry that they've got going on somewhat. Um, so I'm going to edit that down to a single bid and share that very soon. Please do have a look. See, persecution goes on as always. Um, Last month I made a recording, but the microphone was faulty about uh, over a thousand Nigerians being killed within a month. And um, that's always lovely to hear nothing about on the mainstream. Uh, Burkina Faso, I think 137 is what I just read in my live chat. Thanks to, can't really remember now <laughs> who said so, but I trust their word and I'll look that up soon. What else? I see Arul coming into the pub. So, what I'd like to speak about actually is Genesis. So do excuse me for, for a moment if you hear anything I've already said. So Genesis, which um, is not only a band with Phil Collins, but is also the first, uh, first book of the Bible. The Old Testament is where it is. It's the very first thing as you open the Bible, once you get past all the credits and the publishers, there it is. Um, and it is creation that is the very first thing that God feels that we as, as his creation should have access to the knowledge of how we came about, how we fell from grace, who were the first human beings, who were the second human beings, and um, what his reaction was, what the serpent was up to, the whole shebang, nothing. As Jesus, uh, when the words became flesh, Jesus said, I've, <laughs> I've spoken nothing in secret. So I'm just gonna pause while this gentleman walks past again. Um, so, yes, so he says, I've said nothing in secret. And therefore, I do not take Genesis to be allegorical because every parable Christ ever spoke, uh, he will say something along the lines of, therefore, or um, this is the meaning of the parable, or this is the mystery of the seven lamps, as in Revelation style. So, that's one reason I certainly don't take it as an allegory or a narrative, like a poetical narrative, as at least one Christian does, who Steve was uh, alluding to earlier in his conversation about evolution. Um, Darwinian evolution has certainly not been proven. It is an article of faith. Um, Darwin himself was um, unsure uh, due to, for example, the duckbill platypus. The human eye gave him some heebie-jeebies as well. Although he did try to explain himself, he also expressed reservations as to how ridiculous it sounded, actually. So if you are a Christian and you do not believe in Adam as a real historical character, let me just uh, very briefly off the top of my head run you through some of the ramifications of just that tiny amount of unbelief as it were. So the Bible says that um, all scripture, all scripture is God breathed and useful for teaching. So we're going to pause right there at the teaching. If you can't teach that Adam was created from the dust by Yahweh who breathed life into his nostrils, you're already at a disadvantage because Christ, who is the truth, who speaks only the truth, spoke about Adam as a historical character. The New Testament shows us that sin entered the world through the first Adam, the first man. Adam means man. But this Adam was also called Adam, if you see what I mean. All of the, the subsequent, you know, mankind is Adam, but this, this guy is who we're talking about when we say sin entered the world through the first Adam. And by the second Adam, the last Adam, Christ Jesus, sin was, um, you know, defeated actually. Death was defeated and sin was atoned for for anyone, or not even atoned for, forgiven uh, for anybody who believes in him who, you know, believes in their heart that God raised him from the dead and confesses with their mouth that Christ is Lord. You will be saved, says the Bible. There are no ifs and buts. There's no mention at this point, at that point, of baptism, of uh, repentance even, but just 
belief in your heart, confession with your mouth, because, um, because if you, it's all right, because, um, because, just because, it's the Bible, it's infallible, let's get over that. So if you don't believe in this first Adam, if you believe that he was in fact uh, some form of like primate, uh, if you think that God, when he looked around and said, it is good, meant, well, it's all right, but don't worry, it will evolve into something better. That's antithetical to the Bible. Also, uh, the Jews, you know, the, the uh, like the books of Moses contain the truth. If you discount the beginning of Genesis, what else do you discount? Do you discount that the laws came? Do you discount that Yahweh dwelled, uh, you know, in the tent of the meeting, etc.? Um, and walked with the, through the wilderness, spoke to Pharaoh, um, you know, Yahweh of armies. Um, he, went, he went with the Israelites and he um, oversaw their battles to, to claim what was rightfully theirs by God. And that's very important because the Old Testament is in no way divorced from the New Testament, as it were. That may be a poor choice of words, but it is, absolute, it is concealed at that point and then it is revealed within the New Testament the deeper nuance and the meaning and the ramifications and the repercussions of disobedience and disunity and disbelief, which are sins, quite frankly. God says, I hate those who sow discord among their brethren. Um, disbelief is, is definitely, most definitely, unbelief, more importantly, is a sin. Um, although it may not bother you if you don't believe, especially if you don't believe that uh, through through one man sin entered the world. So I think I've waffled on sufficiently for that. But if you do have any questions uh, regarding Darwinian evolution, which, as I say, is unproven, um, or any questions about the actual creation account, which I hold to be true and literal, because the word of God, which is infallible, has told me so then yes, I'd love to uh, discuss it further with you. I may make a video about it. Uh, for, my, for the members of my channel, I'm gonna do some apologetics classes. Uh, so yeah, watch this space and uh, subscribe, share, like, comment, pray for uh, persecuted Christians everywhere and be specific if you can. I have actually literature. That's what I'm gonna make my next vid on. Excellent, I have some literature in my bag. Uh, which I should have actually pulled out at the beginning, but I'll be along very shortly and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.